In Myanmar, top diplomats from around Southeast Asia region and beyond have gathered in the capital. One of the key topics that has been discussed in the three-day ASEAN meeting is the South China Sea territorial dispute between some ASEAN members and China. CCTV's Andy Saputra joins us from Myanmar's capital with more details. Hi there, Andy. That's right, Susan. I mean, uh, from the start, we've known with the backdrop of the rising tension around region with uh, uh, Vietnam and China in a territorial spat where uh, an oil rig is the, the center point of the problem here that uh, has ignited an anti-Chinese riot uh, during earlier this year. And the Philippines that has already lodged an international uh, arbitration into the United Nations on the South China Sea issue. Uh, we've known that this ASEAN ministerial meetings will be uh, quite an eventful day here in, in Naipitao. As the Association of Nations are forging ahead with their integration plans, the South China Sea issue is once again top of the agenda. The Philippines has proposed its new Triple Action Plan, which calls for an immediate moratorium on provocative activities at the troubled sea, and for taking both mid-term and long-term steps to settle disputes, namely the development of the legally binding Code of Conduct. The effectiveness of this U.S.-backed move, though, has been questioned. China is ready to hear proposals, but this proposal has to be fair and not driven by external factors. China's foreign minister also added that the ongoing negotiations of COC and the implementation of DOC are the best way to a solution. This proposal can delay the DOC and damage the interests of both ASEAN and China, and if it has double standards, it will be unfair and unlikely to be accepted. ASEAN and China, though, is determined not to let this long-standing issue to affect what has been the most fruitful relations for both parties. China is the largest trading partner of ASEAN, and ASEAN has emerged as China's third largest partner, a major investment and important tourist destination. This has played a crucial role in completing ASEAN's dream of integration, and with 80 percent of the process is completed, the association will need the cooperation of all its partners, especially its biggest one. That's right. So uh, what Foreign Minister Wang Yi quite candidly said there in a press conference is China's stance on the South China Sea. He, they, he rejects, uh, virtually rejects the uh, notion of uh, the Philippines' proposals. <clears throat> And um, uh, he, he was sticking to his guns that uh, through the de declaration of conduct and the code of conduct is the best way to a solution, a long-term solution for this long-standing problem. Uh, but what he is uh, insisting on the press conference is saying that uh, comparatively with the uh, fruitful relations between ASEAN and China, you must remember this uh, relation is a uh, $500 billion a dollar trade between the two sides uh, uh, and the South China Sea, although it is a dangerous, uh, potentially dangerous issue, uh, it is a small matter in, a, in, a, in an otherwise uh, fruitful and good relations between the two sides. Susan? Andy Saputra reporting live. Thank you so much for that.